Last year, we introduced you to Corning's Gideon Cornfield, an inspirational karate student born without fully developed arms. Now Gideon keeps doing what he does best. That's breaking down walls, only this time it's on one major stage. Cornfield will throw out the first pitch for the Minnesota Twins spring training opener versus the Boston Red Sox. Gideon will represent the Dave Clark Foundation, which strives to help those with disabilities overcome challenges. What's even more remarkable is Gideon will throw the first pitch with his foot. Yes, that is very, very impressive for him getting the chance to show others that nothing gets in your way is special. Cool for me to do it just because I'm a little different and I can just kind of show people that you can do things differently. You don't have to do things always the same way. All right, well, if you want to donate and make a difference in Gideon's trip or to the foundation, visit DaveClarkFoundation.org or call 607-329-0010. All right, moving on now, Athens' Troy Stuyvesant getting set to head down to Penn State to play some football next year. Without question, he knows he's going to be on a whole new level. Stuyvesant signed to Penn State just last week to kick for the Nittany Lions. So, yeah, it'll be a big test moving up to the next step, but he believes it's his work ethic that's going to get him to where he wants to be. Uh, coming from a small town, you know, you, you have, you're going into a, a big sea now. You, you have to stay humble. You have to stay Keep your work ethic that you've had the past four years. Know that you're not necessarily going to be the best when you get there. You have to work each and every day. Okay, we've been following this story for weeks. Corning's Jordan Freisinger is out in Idaho getting his academics in order before he can play football again. Sources indicate that Jordan will walk onto the Vandals football team and then likely eye a scholarship. Then Freisinger left Illinois before he was acquitted of four felony sex charges in December in Steuben County. And say it ain't so, oh, Weezer. You know, saying it ain't so, it's horrible singing by me. But <laughs> here you go. The winter weather has canceled games all across the Twin Tiers. Just to update them, here you go. For New York and girls basketball, the Cander versus Cayuga game has been rescheduled to Saturday at TC3 at 5. Also, the Newfield boys are ranked high in the state. They're going to face Moravia also at TC3 at 7 following that one. In the Valley, all opening rounds of the NTL tourney will now be tomorrow at 7. So lots of basketball action.